Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about Invest 93L that could become Epsilon in the Caribbean and could bring impacts to Cuba, Jamaica, and southern Florida if everything goes correctly. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the su subscribe button if you like weather-related content, hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. The National Hurricane Center gives Invest 93 out a 20% chance of formation through 48 hours and 5 days, with upper level winds becoming stronger to limit additional development by midweek. I do not believe it will form by midweek. However, this system will likely track south of the Caribbean, south of Puerto Rico, towards Jamaica, and could form the same system could form south of Cuba, kind of where Delta formed, south of Cuba, and potentially move northeast into Florida and the Bahamas. That will be the worst case scenario that could happen and will actually most likely happen. But another scenario is in play where if it tracks north of the Caribbean, which is also possible, it will more than likely not form if that happens. Let's get right into the models. These are some of the potential paths Invest 93L could take. You can see model guidance is split. You see most of them have it tracking south of the Caribbean, in the Southern Caribbean, South Puerto Rico, those areas. The majority have it going in that general direction, which could be a bad sign for it to reform south of Cuba and pose a substantial threat to other islands in the area. But you do see a couple of those models have it going north of the Caribbean, north of those islands, and if that's the case, it will most likely not form. This is the latest GFS run, and you can see here, as we go until around October 21st, that same system, part of that same system where that L1004 is south of Jamaica, starts to develop some tropical characteristics. And it looks like two, two tropical storms try to form, but then turn into one, right there, one big one, west of, west of Cuba, with a pressure of 979, the lower the number, the stronger the system. And you can see it barreling towards Cuba with the pressure of 959, rapidly intensifying, going right for southern Florida with 961, 955 as it passes Florida and continues to more move northeast, posing no additional threat to land. This is one model, one scenario. There are dozens of scenarios that could happen, but the GFS is definitely concerning with the consistency showing a potential hurricane hitting southern Florida. These are current sea surface temperatures in the Atlantic, and you can see the Southern Caribbean around the Cuba area, 30 to 31 degrees Celsius waters, very warm. If a system can form there like Delta did, it has a chance to rapidly intensify if no other ingredients get in the way like shear and dry air. Waters towards Florida are also very warm, and if there is no shear and dry air, the storm has nothing to inhibit weakening, so it will continue to strengthen. If there is no dry air and shear, we can't really predict that right now. But the waters are still warm, but they get cooler as you move northeast as a weakening trend is expected after it moves away from North Carolina. The question of the day for this video today, do you think Invest 93L will turn into Epsilon anytime during its lifetime like the GFS model shows? Do you believe it will form? Comment below your answers and I'll look over them. That's the trusted weather forecast for a potential tropical storm or hurricane Epsilon. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.